Krishna's transcendental body is so cool. It cannot be... Oh, thank you. I need to hear that. Krishna's transcendental body. Ah, whew. Hare Krishna. Yeah, let's, let's just meditate on that a little bit. <laughs> Krishna's transcendental body. <laughs> Krishna's transcendental body. Krishna's transcendental body. Krishna's transcendental body. <laughs> Krishna's transcendental body. Krishna's transcendental body. Ah, thank you. <laughs> ah, ah. Krishna, Krishna, transcendental. Krishna, uh. Krishna's transcendental. <laughs> <laughs> Krishna! 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 Krishna's transcendental body. <laughs> Krishna's transcendental body. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hello? Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Transcendental body. <laughs> Transcendental body. <laughs> This is first. Oh, Krishna. Oh. Krishna's transcendental body is so cool that it cannot be compared even to sandalwood pulp or to millions upon millions of moons. It expertly attracts. <laughs> it expertly. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I shouldn't even read these things, the creature at the bottom of the universe that I am. But somehow, by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Yananda, I get to read this. Krishna's expertly attracts the breasts of all women, which resemble high hills. Indeed, the transcendental body of Krishna attracts the minds of all women within the three worlds. Krishna! <laughs> oh my God! Hare Krishna! <laughs> I'm so immature. I really am. <laughs> oh my God! I'm so I'm, a, I'm like a two-year-old. Hare Krishna! <laughs> You can't take me anywhere. You just can't. I mean, oh my God. Oh, okay. Let's try another verse. The fragrance of Krishna's body uh, is more maddening than the aroma of musk. And it surpasses the fragrance of bluish lotus flower. It enters the nostrils of all the women of the world, and making a nest there, thus attracts them. <sighs> <laughs> Krishna.
Krishna. Krishna. Krishna. Krishna. Govinda. Krishna's lips are so sweet when combined with the camphor of his gentle smile that they attract the minds of all women, forcing them to give up all other attractions. If the sweetness of Krishna's smile <laughs> is unobtainable, great mental difficulties and lamentation result, that sweetness is only the wealth of the gopis of Vrindavan. Krishna. Okay. After speaking in this way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu caught hold of the necks of Ramananda Roy and Swarupta. Then the Lord said, My dear friends, please listen to me. What shall I do? Where shall I go? Where can I go to get Krishna? Please, both of you, tell me how I can find him. Thus absorbed in transcendental pain, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu lamented day after day in the company of Sarup Damodar Goswami and Ramananda Rai. Ah. Sarup Damodar Goswami would sing appropriate songs, and Ramananda Roy would recite suitable verses to enhance the ecstatic mood of the Lord. In this way, they were able to pacify him. Ah. The Lord especially liked to hear Bilba Mangal Thakur's Krishna Karanamrita, the poetry of Vidyapati and Sri Gita Govinda by Jayadev Goswami. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu felt great pleasure in his heart when his associates chanted verses from these books. One day, while going to the beach by the sea, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu suddenly saw a flower garden. Lord Chaitanya mistook that garden for Vrindavan and very quickly entered it. Absorbed in ecstatic love of Krishna, he wandered throughout the garden searching for him. After Krishna disappeared with Radharani during the Rasa dance, the gopis wandered in the forest looking for him. In the same way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wandered in that garden by the sea. <laughs> Absorbed in the ecstatic mood of the gopis, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wandered here and there. He began to inquire after Krishna by quoting verses to all the trees and creepers. The gopi said, O Chuta tree, Priyala tree, Panasa, Asana, and Kovidara, O Jambu tree, O Arka tree, O Bale, Bakula, and Mango, O Kadamba tree, O Nipa tree, and all other trees living on the bank of the Amuna for the welfare of others, please let us know where Krishna has gone. We have lost our minds 
and are almost dead. Oh, all auspicious Tulsi plant, you are very dear to Govinda's lotus feet. He is very dear to you. Have you seen Krishna? Walking here wearing a garland of your leaves, surrounded by a swarm of bumblebees? Oh, plants of Malati flowers, Malika flowers, Jati and Utika flowers, have you seen Krishna passing this way, touching you with his hand to give you pleasure? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continued, O mango tree, O jackfruit tree, O piala, jumbo, and kovadara trees, you are all inhabitants of a holy place. Therefore, kindly act for the welfare of others. Have you seen Krishna coming this way? Kindly tell us which way he has gone and save our lives. One of the trees did not reply. The gopis guessed. Since all of these trees belong to the male class, all of them must be friends of Krishna. Why should the trees tell us where Krishna has gone? Let us rather inquire from the creepers. They are female, and therefore they are like friends to us. They will certainly tell us where Krishna has gone, since they have seen him personally. Guessing in this way, the gopis inquired from the plants and creepers, headed by Talasi. O Talasi, O Malati, O Yuti, Madhavi, and Malika, Krishna is very dear to you, therefore he must have come near you. You are all just like dear friends to us. Kindly tell us which way Krishna has gone to save our lives. When they still received no reply, the gopis thought, these plants are all Krishna's maidservants, and out of fear they will not speak to us. The gopis then came upon a group of shidir, smelling the aroma of Krishna's body and seeing the faces of the deer, the gopis inquired from them to ascertain if Krishna was nearby. O oh, wife of the deer, Lord Krishna has been embracing his beloved and thus the kunkum powder on her raised breast has covered his garland and kunda flowers. Fragrance of this garland is flowing here. Oh, my dear friend, have you seen Krishna passing this way with his dear most companion, increasing the pleasure of the eyes of all of you? Oh, dear doe, she Krishna is always very pleased to give you pleasure. Kindly inform us whether he passed this way in the company of Srimati Radharani, we think they must certainly have come this way. We are not outsiders. Being very dear friends of Srimati Radharani, we can perceive the bodily fragrance of Krishna from a distance. Krishna has been embracing Srimati Radharani and the kunkum powder on her breast has mixed with the garland of kunda flowers decorating his body the fragrance of the garland has scented the entire atmosphere. The Lord has left this place, and therefore the deer are feeling separation. They do not hear our words, therefore how can they reply? The gopis then came upon many trees so laden with fruits and flowers that their branches bent down to the ground. 
The gopis thought that because all the trees must have seen Krishna pass by, they were offering respectful obeisances to him. To be certain, the gopis inquired from the trees. Oh, trees, kindly tell us whether Balaram's younger brother, Krishna, welcomed your obeisances with loving glances as he passed this way. Resting one hand on the shoulder of Shimatu Radharani, holding a lotus flower in the other, and being followed by a swarm of bumblebees, maddened by the fragrance of Tulasi leaves. To stop the bumblebees from landing on the face of his beloved, he whisked them away with the lotus flower in his hand, and thus his mind was slightly diverted. Did he or did he not pay attention while you offered him obeisances? Kindly give evidence supporting the words. Separation from Krishna has made these servants very unhappy. Having lost consciousness, how can they answer us? Saying this, the gopis stepped onto the beach by the Amuna River. There they saw Lord Krishna beneath a Kadamba tree. Standing there with his food to his lips, Krishna, who enchants millions upon millions of cupids, attracted the eyes and minds of all the world with his unlimited beauty. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw the transcendental beauty of Krishna, he fell down on the ground unconscious. At that time, all the devotees, headed by Swarup Damodar Goswami, joined him in the garden. Krishna, wow. Achaitanya is Krishna, Hare Krishna's combined form, Radha Krishna. Ah. So he saw himself. Krishna, Krishna's so amazing, he does these things. Expands like that. Ah. Hare Krishna. saw Krishna standing there in the garden, holding the fruit. He saw him, what was he doing? Uh, chanting millions upon millions of cupids, and attracting the eyes and minds of all the world with his unlimited beauty. Huh, Krishna saw himself like that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Go When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw the transcendental beauty of Krishna, he fell down on the ground unconscious. That time all the devotees headed by Sarup Dhammadha Goswami joined him in the garden just as before, they saw all the symptoms of transcendental ecstatic love manifested in the body of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Although externally he appeared bewildered, he was tasting transcendental bliss within. Although externally he appeared bewildered, he was tasting transcendental bliss within. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna, uh, all this stuff there, Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu, Chananda, Sri Avay, Chikadan, Hara, Sri Vasa, Vigo, Vakta, yeah, just remember, transcendental body. <laughs> transcendental body. <laughs> transcendental body. Yeah. And the devotee is also transcendental. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Go with that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.